Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we're going to check out this light from Through Night. As you know, if you've watched my channel, I have tested a lot of lights from Through Night. And man, I have had super good luck with every one of them. They're all great lights. You can spend a lot more money on other big brand names that are no better than this thing. Because I mean, I'm telling you, Through Night is super quality lights. They build them first class. They got first class batteries. Everything about them is great, and I'm sure this is no exception. This is a headlamp. I've done some other headlamps, and this one, the difference in this one is, this is a new one, and it is a throw light headlamp. So instead of being a headlamp that you put on your head and it uh, spreads a big wide angle, this one's going to be a, more of a spot. It's a throw light to really throw the light out there. So let's take this thing out of the box, check it out. You can see it says thrower on this side, cool white. It's obviously a neutral white too but i will post a link in the description too so it does come with a usb cable and the cool part about these through night lights is all the new ones that they make is they put a usb charging cable with usb c and this is the only way to go guys i've had lights and lights through the years and to be able to just have the battery in it, instead of taking the battery out and charge them you just plug in this usb c cable to usb in your car portable power station, even a power bank, uh, solar panel. You can charge this thing on a lot of stuff, even on your motorcycle. These are the way to go. And these lights are super quality, and you will get a super long life out of these LEDs, and they're way brighter than big old huge lights that you used to have to buy just to get nothing near the power of one of these. So they always pack their stuff real good. Three night does. Take that out. There's the light itself. You can see, and you can see in here how this is a smooth Parabola. Uh, it's got one LED, and then being smooth like that, that Parabola shape makes it will be a throw light instead of being an orange peel. It will be pretty much a spot. Just called Through Night Thrower, and on the back here it's got a serial number on it. But super cool. Uh, also in the package, they also always send them through night. They give you extra things in case you need them because you never know. You may uh, go to charge it with the USB-C because right here is where you charge with the USB-C. And you just open this flap up right here. Uh, kind of waterproof. And you plug this USB-C into it, plug it into your USB your house, and you're good to go. Or you're, like I said, you know, you can plug it into anything USB, even your computer your laptop, whatever, and charge it. But if you happen to somehow tear that door off, well, the cool thing is they throw in an extra one, and they even throw in a couple O-rings, which would be probably one for the tail cap where the battery goes, and one for the head or something. It could be two tail cap ones, but you got extra O-rings to keep it nice and watertight in case you ever need them. I have never actually needed this stuff, but I always save my box with all these accessories in it just in case I ever do. So we did get an owner's manual here, and the manual will tell you a whole bunch of stuff about this. And what I'll do is I'll just throw this up on the screen where you can see all the specs, because it's really good to look at these specs and show you uh, all the stuff about it uh, and how to operate it if you need to. So you can see this here. I will show this, and all you have to do is pause the screen if you want to read off any of these specs. But it has a lot more stuff even down here telling you about changing the modes, the memory function, how it works, uh, low power indication, tells you about the charging light on it, what it means, and all the specifications. So it's basically this thing does have SOS. And I'll show you this when it gets dark. I'll show you all these light functions. Firefly, which is a known thing for through night. They always add this Firefly, which is amazing. Uh, low, medium, and high power. And then it turbo is another thing that through night does to make a super super bright light the specs i want to read to you is uh, the lumens and how long it lasts on each mode and in sos you got 600 lumens which is bright uh five hours it would do sos firefly which is the lowest that's the super low super dim but it's enough light if you need it in survival situation, it would be amazing to have because 
It's 0 0.4 lumens, but it lasts 39 days. That's incredible. Low power is 62 lumens and lasts 48 hours. Medium is 258 lumens and it will last 10 hours. Uh, and then you got high power, which now what high power does, the same thing turbo does, it starts out high. And then what it does to save the LED, saves the battery and keeps it cooler by not getting too hot, that's how it works, that it will start off in this high power and then after so much time, it will drop down to a lower power uh, just to save everything, save your battery, save your LED, like I said, because you start cranking up the lumens real high and you're going to get some heat. What this does is on high power, 735 lumens, which is bright. And it says 6.5 minutes is what that'll run. Then after 6.5 minutes, it's going to drop down to 395 lumens, and then it will go to 240 minutes on that 395 lumens. Turbo is kind of like it. Turbo is the super bright, the brightest you're going to get, and this dude is powerful. It's 1,755 lumens. It will last 5.5 minutes until it automatically will drop down to 373 lumens, which is... It will last 240 minutes on the 373 lumens. So a really cool thing that they do, and to make this like last, because if you were to put it on 1755 lumens, the first thing you're going to do is drop your battery down dead real fast, and you're also going to get the LED too hot. They build a lot of heat when you're cranking them up that high. Uh, so all your other stuff here tells us waterproof, impact resistant, uh, all the ratings about it. Uh, the run time is what I told you there. Uh, the throw distance is 323 meters. That's a long ways. So it's a pretty good spot at 323 meters. Intensity is 26,100 candela max. Impact resistance is, so you drop it from 1.5 meters. Waterproof is IPX8, two meters. And then over here we have the battery indicator. Uh, what the light does, it does different things. Uh, when the light is off, uh, totally off, that means it's dead. I mean, you need to charge that dude up. And then you go to when you're charging it, when it's red flashing, you're at one to 10%. It's 2.6 to 2.8 volts. And then when you're red solid, it is 11 to 20% battery, and you are 2.8 to 3.1 volts. And then when it turns blue, you're at 21 to 100% charged, and it will be 3.1 to 4.2 volt. So that's a little info, but you can also pause the screen if you want to read any of this info right here. Zoom up on it and check it all out, but these lights are super. So the first thing you always want to do on through night lights, most of them is going to have this. They come with the battery already installed, and all you have to do is turn this in. And what that does is make connection on the battery. There's actually a switch built in here. I'll take this off and show you how this works. So basically, when you put this in, the positive on this spring is going to make contact. And the way it's designed is it's not making ground your positive is touching but until you thread this cap down to where it grounds on this ring right here into the cap it don't have ground on it so you're basically turning the ground onto it uh all the working parts the pc board and stuff is down inside here everything is gold contacts which is really good the battery for this thing is a 18650 3.6 volt 12.24 watt hours uh 3,400 milliamp hours, and I can tell you by testing several of these and running them on a tester, the through night batteries are true to what they say. A lot of batteries that you buy are cheap, and they may say 3,400 milliamp hours, and you get about 900 milliamp hours, or 1,000 or 1,200. They're not near as good as these through night batteries. So these batteries are really good. They're going to last you a long time. They got gold contacts, very quality made. Slide the battery back in here. Put this end cap back on. I'll show you the light here, and then we'll take this thing out and try it out at night. 
So basically, it's pretty simple as far as the headband, just like any other light with a headband. It just fits right over your head. This is the three-way band. A lot of them are just a single band. This one has the single band, then the one that goes over the top of your head. Told it nice and secure. The through night light also is easy just to take out because you have these rubber mounts. And you just pull this out of the rubber mount. And when you do, you can actually take this thing and use it as a flashlight. I mean, very cool to be able to use it if you don't want it in a headlamp. It would be a right angle, but you can use it as a flashlight. You can set it up, use it as a right angle or whatever. You turn this on, and you can see that light's blue. That means it's fully charged. Uh, when it turns red, as I, as I said, then it's just about halfway maybe. And then uh, as you're charging it, this light will be red, and then it's going to turn to blue. Blue means you are full charge, ready to go. But that's your indicator I was talking about earlier. Uh, plug your USB in here to charge it. Very simple. You're ready to go. So the through night throw light headlamp, we're going to take this thing out. It's going to be dark here in just a little bit, so I'll be back. We'll take this out see what it looks like at night. I'll throw this on my head and adjust the straps so the straps are adjustable. Very simple, just like any of them. Pull your straps and adjust them to fit your head. And you got the uh, adjustment for the top, then you have the adjustment for the side. That's all there is. Very nice. It's through night on here. Then you take this little tag off. Basically, this tag tells you about how you twist the end cap on here to make the battery contact. Let's take this thing out in the dark, try it out. Okay, so here we are outside. It's not pitch black, but it's actually pretty dark. The light actually will work pretty good, and I can still uh see what i'm looking at before i get to it so we're going to try this thing out let me turn it on i've already got it on my head not sure what power we're in i think we're in probably let's see that's hold my button down there's low by holding it down uh, so you just hold the button down you're going to go through the modes there's low medium high so let's take it out here let's put it back on low Hold it down, goes to low. And low is actually pretty darn bright. No thing wrong with that. I mean, you can see quite a bit on that. Got a peacock over here called Huckleberry. And he is right there, if you can see him. He's probably wondering, what in the world are you doing? So right there is my huckleberry. He's like, what are you shining my eyes? Big bright light, it's already starting to do out here. So we are on a high power right there. We'll get it down here in the bottom. We're probably better around away from the light. You can see it go this way. Shining on the house, shining on the huckleberry. But there's a light up there, so it kind of messes it up the pole light. We'll go down here in the bottom where there ain't no lights. But I mean, this dude, you look at me shining over there in that tree. See that spot? That's what a throw light would do for you. Instead of being a big widespread uh, light, floodlight, this is going to be a spot. And it's a real good spot. But you you know, even considering it's a spot, it still signs a big, nice flood out around it. So you can still see around you. It's not all just spot and you're focused only on that. You can actually still see where you're going uh, with the spotlight and with the big ring that it has around it. If you had it where everything was focused, then you wouldn't be able to see very good around where you're at, just the spot. So yeah, a little darker up there in the holler. We'll go up there, get off my other lights. So here we are. This is low. I'm shining up here on these trees on the hillside. This is a good place to go because it's up here on these trees, it's usually a lot darker. And we have a nice light. Hopefully there ain't no uh, skunks or something out here. Wouldn't that suck? Okay, let's put this thing on medium. See what she does. There's some trees over here. Put this on medium. Whoops. Oh, well, that was medium. Okay, there's high. So there's low. Medium. 
high. So medium is pretty darn good. I mean, holy cow, this thing is a good throw light. Put on high. There's high, and you can see. Sorry. Low, medium, high, yeah. Okay, there's high. And you can see way up in that holler. Them trees lighting up up there. I mean, this thing's powerful. You shine it down here on the ground, it just pretty much blows the camera out. It's just so bright. Now, that's high. Now what we're going to do is we tap this thing. Double tap, I believe. And then we go to turbo, which is the extreme bright. Look at up through there. We'll go up here in these trees. I mean, dude, you could spotlight coons with this thing. And for the price of this, you can't beat a light for this kind of money that lasts that many hours on the batteries. And the cool part about the headlamps are, instead of just carrying around a flashlight, is your hands free. So everything you're doing, you know, you especially if you're carrying a gun, whatever you want to do, um, you got hands free. There's a spider web right there. Let's put this thing on SOS and see what it looks like. Okay, there's SOS. Super sweet. So that could come in pretty handy at times if you broke down or something. You know, you really need help. You're miles out on the mountain. As bright as this thing is, they're going to see you for a long ways. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this button down and I'm going to put it on Firefly. And if you remember, I told you Firefly is the one that lasts 30 something days. It is very low power. But if you need this thing in a survival situation, you're out somewhere stranded, you're lost, you're off out in the mountains, you're in a cave. Can you imagine this in a cave and you could last 30 something days? I guarantee you, you'd want to use Firefly. And in a cave where it's pitch black, that's going to be a plenty of light to be sufficient. So I'm going to turn this on. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a spot down on the ground. It's not like super bright, but you don't need it. Look at my hand. Okay. You can see it shining on my hand. It's that bright up close. So if you want to do something, if you need to dig in your backpack, find something, you can still see plenty good. On the ground, that's actually more light than what you're going to see on this camera. It's actually a pretty darn good light. But super, super cool to have that Firefly. That's one of the features that they do that I like. Okay, now we're back on. And what this thing does is it's got a memory. So on the, on the low, medium, and high, uh, whatever you're on, if you're on low, medium, or high, and you turn it off, it's going to remember what you was on. And that's what, when you turn it back on, you're going to be in that low, medium, or high. When I turn this light off, I want it to come back on in the same power I'm on because I use low power all the time. So I don't want it to come on the next pattern. Some of the lights, they don't have a memory. Every time you turn them on, you turn them off, they come back on in a different power. Well, this light, there's low. If I turn it off, turn it back on, it's going to come right back on in low, which is where I want it. I don't want it to go to the next pattern. I dang sure wouldn't want it to go to SOS. So... Very cool feature. So these through night lights are absolutely wonderful. I really like them. This one is no exception. This is probably the brightest, most powerful headlamp I've seen. Uh, and for the price, very cool. I will post a link to this below in the description. But thank you guys for watching. Check out the light. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Catch you on the next one. Right on.